Hello there, I am Dr. C.N. Okolubo. You're welcome to my YouTube channel where we'll be solving problems relating to business mathematics, business statistics, analysis for business decisions, as well as other related topics. I want to encourage you as you go through these videos with me, you have your paper, your pen, and your calculator to solve these problems with me. Also, please do like, share, and subscribe so that you can receive notifications for upcoming videos that will be uploading. Thank you. Hello everyone. Thank you once again for joining me on my channel. Today, we are going to begin a new series of looking at application of differential calculus as I won't expect that you would have before now gone through the other videos we have had on um, the rules of the, uh, getting or determining derivatives. Remember, we uh, looked at the various rules in terms of constant rule, we've looked at the linear function rule, the power rule, the sum difference rule, the quotient rule, as well as the chain rule. We're going to apply these um, rules in the applications that we're going to be looking at uh, in, the, in the coming videos. So please join me uh, in looking at these things together so that we can get a better grasp of how we can apply the differential calculus to business. Thank you very much. Let's look at this question that we have on our workboard. Here we have, as you can see, applications of uh, differential calculus. And then we have uh, example one. A company produced tons of goods with a total function of C is equal to 1 over 10 x to the power 3 minus 4 x to the power 2 plus 20 x plus 5. Find the following functions. Well, we want to find the average cost, the average fixed cost, the average variable cost, the marginal cost, as well as the marginal average cost. From what we can see, um, total cost, let me write solution here. Now, total cost is made up of fixed cost plus variable cost times Q. Total cost is equal to fixed cost plus variable cost times Q. Now, when we are given a cost function as 1 over 10 x to the power 3 minus 4 x to the power 2 plus 20 x plus 5, then we'll be wanting to know which of these uh, part of uh, this cost function is the fixed cost and which one is the total cost. I'd like to announce to you that this portion is the fixed cost. This portion is the fixed cost. Any portion of the fixed cost that has no variable on it attached to it, no coefficient variable attached to it is the fixed cost. Whereas this portion is a variable cost. So are you clear with that? Number five here, the number five here is the fixed cost. Whereas um, we have this variable here, this one say one, two, three, make up the uh, variable cost. So now if we want to find the, the average cost here, let me still write the cost function as total cost is made up of one over 10 x to the power three minus four x to the power two plus 20 x plus five. Now, average cost will be total cost divided by the quantity x in this case. So that our total cost will be 1 all over 10 x to the power 3 minus 4 x to the power 2 plus 20 x plus 5 all over x. 
So is to divide the total costs all over x. In case in some cases, x here may be represented by q. So you just say whatever you have divided by q. Now what we are going to do, we are going to have x dividing all the all the functions divided by x minus 4x plus power 2 divided by x plus 20x divided by x plus 5 divided by x. So our average cost at the end will be, well, this is just power 3. Now, according to the laws of indices, obviously, when we divide, we have x, we'll cross out one of the x's so that this remains 2. So our average cost 1 over 10, x raised to power 2 to reduce. Now this one too, if we cross this, we are left by 1. So this becomes minus 4x and then this x will cross this x. So we are left with 20 and then this is 5 all over x. So this is the answer to the first question of finding our average cost. Is that clear? This is the average cost function as shown here. Let's move on to the second part of it. We are told to find the average average fixed cost. Obviously, we know that our fixed cost in this function is 5. So if we want to find the average fixed cost, that will be 5 all over x. We already, we already done that. Average fixed cost will be fixed cost divided by x. So that will be 5 all over x. That will be average fixed cost. Now the average variable cost, average variable cost will be variable cost divided by x. And we already have it here. Please look at the board. We already have the average variable cost given here. This is the fixed cost, 5 over x. Now this portion is the average variable cost. So we can repeat this here. We can repeat this here by having, let me move to the other side. We can repeat this by having um, 1 all over 10, x raised to power 2, minus 4x plus 20. So this is the average variable cost already given. Now we're asked to find the marginal cost. The marginal cost is actually the differentiation or the derivative of the fixed cost. So marginal cost is actually the TC, that is the um, change in the total cost over dx. So that is the marginal cost. Marginal cost is the, uh, the, the, the C or the TC over dx. So we already know that our um, total cost function is given here. So if we want to find the total cost, um, if we want to find the marginal cost, that would be, let's look at the, let's, let me write the, the, um, the total cost here. Yeah? The total cost is given as 1 all over 10, x to the power 3, minus 4x to the power 2, plus 20x plus 5. So, the, the derivative of the total cost will be we have 3 times this is 3 times 1 all over 10 x to the power 3 minus 3 minus 1 okay, 3 minus 1 minus 2 times 4 x to the power 2 minus 1 then plus we have a uh, 20, of course, that will be x plus power 1 minus 1, then this will go with plus 5 because when you differentiate the constant, 5 plus 0 becomes 0. So our um, differentiation of the total cost will be 3 all over 10 x plus power 2 minus 8 x plus 2, uh, minus 8 x is 2 minus 1 gives us 1, so that 8x plus 20. 
So this is the answer to this question. This is our um, marginal cost function. And lastly, we'll look at the marginal average cost function. The marginal average cost function. Now, this will be um, the uh, change in the average cost all over change in X. That is the DAC um, all over DX. So, and we know that the AC is already given as 1 all over 10 x to the power 2 minus 4x plus 20 plus 5 all over x. So now the change, the AC all over the x will be to find the, um, the derivative of this. So that will become 2 that will become 2 times 1 all over 10 x minus this becomes minus 4 plus of course plus 0 if we differentiate 20 that will write the constant it becomes 0 plus 5 all over x we need to find this one and somewhere here I'm going to please follow me I'm going to look at how we can find the derivative of 5 all over x. So 5 all over x, remember when we did the function, I mean when we did our quotient rule, this is u and this is v. So let's say the u dx, the u dx, and we have the v dx. So to find the derivative of 5, of course, that will be 0 and the derivative of x will be 1. So now what we now do, remember, we'll multiply this and we'll multiply this one and we'll divide by, by, the, um, by, the, by the denominator. So that means dy dx here will be, I just please zoom closely, will be, um, will be um, x x times this x times 0 um, let me wipe this so that I can use a, a, a better space sorry let's come back to somewhere here so follow me with this so we have 5 all over x now remember this is u and this is v so the u dx will give us 0 and the v dx will give us 1. If you differentiate x, it will give you 1. So that when you multiply this and multiply this one, it should give you the x, the y dx will now give us x times 0 minus 5 times 1, right, all over 5 times 1, all over x squared. So that what we now have is, this is 0 minus 5 all over x squared. So that will be minus 5 all over x squared. Okay, so this is what we have here when we differentiate this. So we're going to bring this one down here. We'll now bring this one here as a derivative of 5 over x. So this, so that means this will change to become minus 5 all over x squared. So this is the answer to this question of finding. This is the answer to this question of finding the derivative of average cost. Now this is the one, this is our marginal cost function, right? So ladies and gentlemen, wherever you are, this is the solution to this um, question in finding the, 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 the function, the various functions from the cost function as given in this question. Please go over this video again.
please do not forget to leave a comment or two in the comment section. I would really love to hear from you. Thank you very much.